a local multi-million dollar resort giving back to the community in a big way. Yesterday, a volunteer team from the Atlantis Resort were at the Adastra Gardens site for its Community Day Outreach Initiative. LaDon Davis has more. Using the signage, benches, and walls with flamboyantly colorful designs around the Adastra Gardens grounds is a work of art for the more than 100 volunteers of the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. Manager of Guest Activities, Erica Lightborn, is one of the volunteers. So we're recreating this mural that we have right there, and I'm so excited because we have persons from different departments that are coming here to lend their talents and of their time, so it's such a humbling experience. I know I used to come to Adastra Gardens years ago, so to come back here is lovely. Adastra's animal manager, Andrew Higley, says about seventy-five dollars to $100,000 was pumped into the scope of work carried out so far. Revamping the flamingo's habitat, that was one of the main focus. Um, we just wanted to try to recreate some of the natural environment Environment, some of the natural um, triggers that they need to encourage breeding. So that was top priority. Um, another one was increasing the quality of the water that runs throughout the entire lagoon. We have about three to four ponds. So right now we're trying to increase the water quality. There's a lot of sediment buildup. Um, there's a lot of muck and there's a lot of organic debris that falls into the pond. So it tends to just settle. So we're trying to solve that problem as well. So they're currently install installing aerators now. Of course, we're a garden. Um, Adasha started off as a garden back in the 1930s. So, I mean, obviously, just to get the trees under control, some of them have been here from, from the start. Vice President of Public Relations and Special Projects, Vianna Gardner, talked about why Adastra was a chosen site for their community service project. We knew we wanted to do a really big initiative for our community services day, and we thought about, you know, how could Atlantis make a really meaningful impact to something in the community that affects everybody. We were all kids at one point, and we came through Adastra Gardens. Almost everybody came through Adastra Gardens, and we watched the flamingos, and we had the snake around our necks, even though we would do that now as an adult, um, but we all have some affinity to Adastra Garden, so we thought if we did this, it could be something that everybody enjoys. For all parties involved in this community project, ongoing construction work and the beautification of the once popular Adastra Gardens is a fresh start to attracting more visitors to the family-friendly environment. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDon Davis.